everyone, today I created a holiday makeup tutorial for you and I hope you enjoy this. I had so much fun filming this and I happened to find my new favorite liquid lipstick formula like ever which is kind of annoying because it is limited edition and you cannot get them anymore but Milani liquid lipsticks, um, well actually I don't think that's what they're called, they're the Amore matte lip creams. But these are limited edition, or they were, and you can no longer get them. You can only get the shade Adore, which is, I hear is the only bad one in the group. That one and Flirt are bad, but I just tried this, and this is absolutely phenomenal. I didn't have high hopes for it, because I've tried a couple of liquid lipsticks, and I just didn't like it. But this one's absolutely amazing, and it's perfect for the holidays. As you can see, it's just a perfect blue-based red. I absolutely love this. If you're interested in how I did this holiday inspired makeup tutorial then just keep watching. Bye! I'm starting off this makeup look with scotch tape and I'm gonna get the tape less sticky by placing it on the back of my hand a couple times just so it doesn't tug at your eye when you try to take it off and I'm gonna place it from the end of the brow to the end of the eye and this will just create a really nice cat eye and catch any fallout that may happen while you're working on your eyeshadow. And then I'm going in with the shade Naked from the Naked Urban Decay palette and I'm using an NB23 Morphe brush. I'm just putting this color and windshield wiper motions all over the crease of the eyelid. This will help blend out darker colors later on. And then I'm going in with a Morphe MB13 brush. This is just a more precise blending brush and I'm taking the shade Buff and I'm placing this more directly into the crease just to deepen up the crease. And now I'm going in with the shade Sidecar, and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay brush that came with the Naked palette, and I'm just placing this all over the lid. It's a very pretty shimmery color. I love this color so much. And here I'm just going over that sidecar shade with a second coat because I really want this to be very glittery and metallic. You can also wet your brush with Fix Plus, but I don't always like doing that because it can mess up some of the eyeshadows sometimes. And I'm going back in with that uh, buff shade and the MB13, and I'm just blending out that sidecar shade so you don't have any harsh lines. And now I'm going in with the shade Hustle on a smaller, more defined crease brush. This is from... Sonia Kashuk. And this brush is good because it really places product on, it really packs on the color and it also blends out the color very easily. And I'm just placing that on the outer corner of the eye to darken up the look. And then I'm just blending that out slightly with no additional product. And now I'm going in with the shade Creep in the palette. And I'm going even more precisely, just barely on the very, very outer corner of that eye, just in the outer V. And I'm deepening up the look even more because I want this to be pretty dramatic. And now I'm blending that out again with no additional product. 
And now I'm going back in with the shade Sidecar just to replace any of the product that might have gotten blended away. And now I'm going in with the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and I'm taking that really glittery shade right there that I'm pointing to. I'm placing this directly in the center of the lid. This part actually isn't necessary. I just really wanted there to be a glittery effect on my eyes. And I've noticed that the Smashbox uh, glittery shades are pretty much just glitter. That's the only payoff you get. I don't get much color payoff, so I'm just topping my eyeshadow with this. And then blending it out once again because you never want harsh lines. I'm going to be moving on to the face makeup before finishing the eyes, so I'm just taking off the tape right now. I'm going in with a makeup removing wipe because both the Naked and Smashbox palettes have a lot of fallout. They're beautiful shades, but they do have a lot of fallout. And then I'm going in with the NYX Angel Veil Primer and just priming my skin for foundation. And then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Matte and Poreless in the shade 112. And I'm taking my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and blending that out. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair and I'm creating a triangle shape under my eye because this highlights and conceals dark under eye circles better. And then I'm also going to highlight the rest of the face with this color, just the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, the middle of the forehead, and also the chin because you want to balance out the highlight that you have underneath your eyes so that your eyes don't look crazy. And I'm also blending this in with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Now I'm taking the Wet n Wild Color Icon contouring palette in this shade, I believe it's Dolce de Leche, and I'm taking the, my Real Techniques setting brush and just setting all the concealer I placed on my face. And now I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my e.l.f. Complexion Brush and I'm setting my foundation. And I'm going to bring this uh, powder down my neck just to match my face to my neck better. And then I'm taking the NYX Micro Brow Crown in the shade Taupe and filling in my eyebrows. And I'm using the other side that has the spoolie just to blend out that any harshness that I might have created with the pencil and to set my brows in place. And then I'm taking this Great Lash uh, Maybelline Mascara in the shade Transparent, and I am setting my brows with this.
Next, I'm going in with my Happy Booster Bronzer from Physicians Formula and my Real Techniques Blush Brush just to bronze up the face a little. This color has a lot of glitter in it, which I like because it's a holiday makeup look and I think there should be a lot of glitter incorporated into holiday makeup looks. It's not a gross glitter though, it's more of like, it creates a glow, it's not really glitter. You can't see glitter flecks or anything. And I'm going back into that color icon palette and taking the contour shade and I'm gonna contour with this shade and I'm using my e.l.f. complexion brush again for this. I find this brush is very good for contouring. And I'm just going more precisely into the places that I bronze just to contour. And I'm also going to contour under my lip just to make my lip look more pouty and make my lips fuller. And I'm also going to contour on my nose. Now I'll be moving on to blush and I'm going to be using my Morphe 9B blush palette and that's in her shade right there. And my Real Techniques blush brush and I'm placing this just on the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm going in with Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlight and my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush and I'm going to be highlighting with this product. I'm highlighting on the tops of the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. And now I'm going in with the shade Virgin and I'm going in with an Eco Tools highlighting brush I think it is. It came with a six piece brush kit but I'm just highlighting my brow bone with this color. And then I'm going back into Hustle and I'm taking a defining brush from Sony Kashuk and I'm pressing this color into my lower lash line. And then I'm going to blend that out with the shade Buff and a pencil brush from EcoTools because you don't want it to be too harsh under your lash line. I just want to smoke it out so it can match the top. And this part is not necessary either, but I wanted my inner corner to be very intensely highlit. So I'm going in with the Lorac Metallic Palette and I'm taking the shade Quartz. And I'm taking a pencil brush, the same one I used to smoke out the lower lash line, and I'm just placing this on the inner corner. And then I'm going in with the MB13 with no additional product and just blending that out. And now I'm going in with my Maybelline, I think it's the Master Drama Eyeliner in the shade Black. I'll leave it down below because I'm not sure that's what it's called. And I'm just lining my waterline and tight lining with this. I want this look to be very smoky and dramatic, so that's why I'm lining both the lower and upper waterlines. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in black, and my e.l.f., I think this is the small angled brush maybe, I don't know exactly what it's called, but I'll leave it down below. And now I'm taking L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara in the shade Black. And I'm going to apply two coats of this. And that's what the finished eyes look like. And now I'm going in with this lip liner from Rimmel London in the shade Red Dynamite and I'm going to line my lips with this. And 
And finally, to finish off the look, I'm going in with this Milani Matte Lip Cream in the shade Desire. And this is my favorite part of the makeup look. This really makes it come alive. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed.